is fish farming simply good business or a threat to wild salmon stocks? It was just last month that an all-party committee on sustainable aquaculture handed the provincial government its conclusions that fish farms should be banned from all coastal waters north of Vancouver Island and that existing farms should be converted from open net pens to closed containment systems. And what did the government do? A week later, it approved a new open pen fish farm. Now, as Linda Aylesworth reports, some of the scientists brought in to advise the government are quitting. Larry Dill has been a professor of biology at Simon Fraser University for 30 years. At first, his goal was to learn and teach about, among other things, marine life. But these days, much of his time is devoted to saving it. One of the things that's very disappointing is to see what's happened in recent years, and particularly the wild salmon that used to be so prolific, so abundant, and uh, now are so scarce. So when asked by the provincial government to share his expertise by joining a scientific advisory committee mandated to look into the role salmon farms might be playing in the demise of our wild stocks, he agreed. But our plans to do that have essentially been scuttled by the failure of the agriculture industry to cooperate uh, with this process. So what did you do? We resigned. In fact, three scientists quit that day. Two weeks later, another government-appointed committee on sustainable aquaculture released a report, which concluded that salmon farms were indeed threatening the survival of wild salmon. What we heard uh, as we went around British Columbia, I think the number one problem is sea lice. The biggest problem is uh, the danger to our wild juveniles, particularly for the pinks and the coho. The lice, which thrive in farms, attach themselves to the tiny fish as they pass by on their way out to sea. Unlike mature salmon, these little smolt don't have a chance. And so the committee recommended a ban on farms in some regions and a move from open nets to contain systems in others. We're glad that the committee has listened. We just hope now that the government acts on their recommendation. But one week later, Minister Pat Bell announced he had issued yet another open net fish farm license. The Conception Point site itself was a very technically sound application. It had been in process for four years. They'd provided all the appropriate biological baseline information. It's probably one of the best sites for aquaculture in the province. I was just astounded. I mean, here's this uh, report based on two years of collection of data and, and testimonies from people. And within a very short period of time, the minister made it very clear that he was not going to pay any attention to this report and he immediately went ahead and approved another farm. One way to find out just how much effect the farms are having on wild salmon is to fallow or empty the nets during the time of year when juvenile wild salmon migrate past them, then see how many adults return. Scientists had hoped the farms in Glacier Falls would cooperate, but the other day they were seen preparing to restock their nets. Should the government be held accountable for the fish farm's lack of cooperation at the, in this fallow situation? Clearly. I mean, it's government that regulates them, it's the government that approves them, and they should basically, you know, call them on the carpet and say, look, you either cooperate with this or you're not going to get your licenses renewed. To me, uh, the answer is clear. To me, the science is clear. To me, there's a problem. It needs to be fixed. I don't know how we can do any more than that as scientists. And coincidentally, a Canadian delegation made up of First Nations, environmental groups and tourism businesses was in Norway this week. They were there to talk to shareholders of one of the fish farm companies that operates in both Norway and B.C. The delegation's point? That the Norwegian companies are operating with a double standard, having removed the open net pens from fjords in Norway, where wild salmon migrate, and having not done the same thing in British Columbia.